Yo, what's up everybody? Akeem here and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, time for another ride with Top Gun Maverick, a new threat approaching in season six of Rick and Morty, and an inside look at the cast of Amazon Prime Video's Paper Girls' favorite moments from episode one. And it's all presented by Paper Girls, a brand new series on Amazon Prime Video. Now let's drop it. All right, now if you clicked on this video, chances are you're a Tom Cruise fan. Now even more, you're a Top Gun fan, or you just love fast moving jet planes. In which case, you should definitely be looking forward to next week as it marks the home release of Top Gun Maverick. Now starting August 23rd, you can own it on digital with physical 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray arriving November 1st. Now August 24th and November 2nd respectively for those in Australia. Now according to Collider, the home release of Top Gun Maverick will pack in nearly two hours worth of bonus content with special features that'll include a look at the cast's flight training programs, Tom Cruise piloting a vintage Mustang, and a Q&A session the famed actor did at the Cannes Film Festival. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, as you can expect much more when digital lands next week, with the physical copies coming sometime in November. Definitely worth a watch to see why it's Tom Cruise's most successful movie to date. Now in other news, you gotta check out this Rick and Morty season six teaser, Adult Swim just dropped. Now the newest trailer, Wormageddon Journey to Earth, gives us small clues into what Rick, Morty, and family could be facing. And while we don't know much based on this teaser, there is a countdown to Wormageddon on the Rick and Morty website, and we learned previously about a hidden secret within the Citadel, but what is it? Now we'll definitely find out more once that countdown runs out, but all will be revealed soon when Rick and Morty season six premieres September 4th. And finally, y'all, Paper Girls is a brand spanking new show based on the comic book series by Brian K. Vaughn and Cliff Chang. Now, it follows four young friends whose paper routes are disrupted when they unknowingly travel to 2019 and get put between two time-jumping factions at war. Now, we got to watch the premiere episode with the cast, and guess what? We asked them about their favorite moment from episode one, and here's what they had to say. Mm. You know, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna say, Probably the scenes where we're riding the bikes throughout the streets. I just, I really enjoyed that. That was the first time I'd never seen lightning bugs before, fireflies. And it was just a really magical setting and it was very peaceful and, and calm and, and serene and just beautiful. And so I would probably say from the first episode, just any of those bike scenes. And if not the bike scenes, then maybe the scenes where we're in the kitchen hiding in Mac's house and just the girls sort of conversing in this bizarre, confusing situation. I am tight between the one in the car because I just really loved the car scenes because it was all chaotic and it was really a bonding experience because a lot of stuff happened in the car and there were a lot of funny moments and we were swerving and I wasn't even allowed to touch the pedals. It was just a really great time. And then I, the other one that I'm tied between is when we were in the woods. There was cake explosions everywhere because they had to like, there were gunshots. So the dirt was flying everywhere and it was like cake and cereal. And we were running and I just ran in a separate direction from them, which I just thought was so funny. Yeah, the, the, the scene in the woods was awesome. That took, that took like a week to film, two, three days, I yeah. think. Yeah, that, it was, it was a lot of fun. Three. It was the conditions though, we were like sweating and we were so hot and something our director, Dorothy Banks Davis, had us do before every take was scream at the top of our lungs. She was just like, just let it all out, let it all out. It was very um, freeing. It was. It was yeah. I think that, that was just so much fun. And like when Erin is by the tree trunk, um, where she's like, like touching the bugs, um, I was suffering so badly for those three days because I have incredibly bad allergies. I was like dying and I was so <laughs> ready to go home. I was so hot. I was itchy everywhere. But yeah, those scenes definitely like we really felt in it. Wow, they said a lot, didn't they? Now, Paper Girls is out right now on Amazon Prime Video, so tune in and catch all the time-traveling action. And that was your entertainment fix for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson. Thank you all so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices. For everything else, stick with IGN.